Are you planning to purchase or waiting for your keys to your three-room BTO flat? Continue watching to find out more. Hi guys, nice to see you again in Interior Design with Ray, bringing you tips and tutorials for your home renovation journey. So far, in my channel, I have already featured three three rooms HDB flats and they are all in the older estates in Singapore. So in today's video, I will show you how I knocked down walls for a three room resale BTO flat in Sengkang. Let's step right in. At the time of filming, the walls have already been demolished. This is the main entrance, so come in here, there'll be a feature wall just to conceal the household shelter or the bomb shelter. And over at this side here, there'll be a full height altar table. Over there will be a full wall feature for the TV and also a low TV console. So as you can see here, uh, there used to be one common bedroom and the master bedroom is there so the walls have been removed right so that uh, it creates more space for the master bedroom wardrobe which is going to be here so there's going to be the door for the master bedroom at this side and a partition and then a glass door here for the study so the study wall has been Hacked down to almost about 900 mm height. So this is going to be the glass panel with some uh, black framing. So things to take note is when you hack a wall like that, right? Preferably the height of the low wall is about 900, not too high. Um, 900 is actually enough to uh, for your sofa or your couch to lean back onto that wall okay so and also preferably you do an L so as to open up this wall space okay and uh, when the glass is joined at 45 degree here the joint will look better okay at this 45 degree joint here so it will also bring light into the dining area which is over here right if not then actually it was quite dim before i even hack away this wall so all this will be glass and then a glass door here so as for the ceiling at the dining area and the walkway there'll be a fourth ceiling that flushes with uh, this beam okay um, of course there's a aircon blower somewhere here Right, it will be lower a little bit because of the aircon trunking. So the four ceiling will actually flush with the aircon trunking all the way. Right, this is the passageway to the bedroom. Right, the bedroom is here, just the master bedroom. So this is the common bathroom, and also here, which is the entrance to the kitchen. The dining table will be here. It actually connects out from the kitchen cabinet okay and uh, stops along this line here right so this is the dining table over here is actually the DB but you can see that this DB is not concealed entirely right it's just an open DB uh, with the uh, switch box here or the or the data points over here so what I'm going to do is to hide this entire wall right with a door and stretches all the way over here with a, a panel or a feature for the dining area this is the kitchen it's not very huge okay just turn right and this will be the service yard what I've done was to Remove the two louver window, the left and right, and also the low walls 
over there and I'll just continue with this uh, cabinet the bottom and the top okay the clothes hanger is going to be removed because it's getting in the way of the, the top cabinet so this area here will be for the washing machine the pipe will be boxed up or concealed with cabinet it's the fridge area followed by an L okay, only the backsplash wall has been overlaid with tiles this part here is where the full height cabinet is right, and there's actually a sliding glass door so over here you can see the, the gap here Right, this is actually for the sand glass door to slide in right, so it goes up all the way onto this beam right, so the track is actually on this beam itself right, so everything will be hidden right, when, the, when the sliding glass door slides open so the glass door will be hidden behind the cabinet let's take a look at the common bathroom so all these are porcelain tiles okay nice uh, marble green uh, matte tiles one thing to take note of is because this is the overlay uh, tiles onto the existing wall tiles and also the flooring uh, just take note that you can actually do a 45 degree joint for the wall tiles right at this at all the corners okay without using the pvc strip right that's a very old-fashioned way of doing so ask your tiler to do a 45 degree joint a bit more work more labor intensive but the end result is fantastic okay you might have to pay more i don't know but it's how, it's how you niggle with fit right but doing 45 degree joint is always a better finishes so if the flooring is overlaid what you can do is actually to leave up this dry area here slightly higher so that you have a drop to the shower area okay so the shower screen panel will actually be there okay this part here Hi guys, uh, let's take a look at uh, partially installed carpentry works. So here is the living, the TV wall feature. It has got this uh, roof lines, it's going to be painted in black. This is a huge altar over here. There's going to be some storage below, Suspend, uh, suspended TV console. This uh, altar, right? There's going to be a strip light, LED strip light coming down, and then the long shelter wall will also be concealed. Okay, so there's also one more here, more strip light. And then there's going to be a open display niche over here. Okay, so normally for altar favor have a pull out tray for offering okay. and uh, there's one more here smaller one right. uh, normally when you see a drop here right this drop this uh, location normally is for the ancestor okay here will be the glass panel it's an L shape so inside here that will be the study Here. The ceiling has been dropped down to flush with the existing beam so that it gives a very seamless look. Right, there's no more beam being seen 
There's one more beam across here as well. So all this has been all this has been concealed. The door of the study will be here. Going in. So the study table. So there's uh, two simple open shelf. It's gonna have a down light here, here and here. So here will be the um, door to the study, which is a swing door that swings this way. This part here will be a full height storage cabinet, which is still fabricating. So this is the back of the wardrobe. Right, so it's actually back to back. So if you look at the passageway to the master bedroom, right, I've removed the door frame. So I'm going to customize the door frame and everything will be flush with the wall here. Okay, and the swing door will swing out this way. So at the back of this swing door will be a shallower storage cabinet, which is uh, it's more like a wardrobe uh, storage, right? Uh, with lots of drawers. Okay, the aircon, right, normally we will prefer to put it on top, so it's not so direct. Um, on top of the door. So this part here will be the standard wardrobe, which is deeper. Right, so some storage drawers, hangers. So let's take a look at the master bathroom. Okay, the shower is going to be there. There's a step down. So all these tiles are being overlaid. Okay, so once you overlay, you can actually do a step down. The aircon trunking which is going to be painted in grey later. It's a, it's a very small shelf um, vanity cabinet uh, because of the WC is here. So the space is just nice. And then followed by a shower screen. And so the width is about 520. So with a 520 width, you can get um, about 400 to 420 width uh, basin. Right, it can be a tabletop one or semi recess, it doesn't matter. Okay, so, this is the common bath, which uh, surprisingly is bigger than the uh, master bathroom. So, same, the shower is here, right? And because there's an access window to the aircon, right, normally we don't, uh, I mean, it's hard to do a door here because uh, there's no way to. Uh, install a hinge, a door hinge. Okay, you can actually install on the fixed panel if you have a shower screen, you have a fixed panel here. Yes. You can install the door like that, yeah, but the space inside will be very tight and it's going to be very wobbly on the fixed panel because of the weight of the sliding glass door. So when you open and close, this fixed panel will be wobbling all the way, so it's a bit dangerous. So, best is to just do a fixed panel here, okay. And then the door entrance without the door. So the vanity cabinet is almost the same size as the master bathroom. Right, uh, the width here is about 550, slightly bigger. This is a 420 basin if I'm not wrong. Right, 400 to 420. So that gives you some allowance on the left and on the right. Uh, of course, you have to make sure that the vanity is deep enough so that you can put a tall uh, faucet here. That leaves uh, enough space for the WC. Hope this video inspires you to do something different. So remember to like and share if you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed, remember to hit that subscribe button right away. So guys, take care. And since it's the Omicron variant now, be safe and I'll see you in my next video.